Hello everybody, here, I'm here to show you guys how to make a uh, HMOD unofficial server. Uh, I'm also going to show you how to port forward a Linksys router. Uh, I don't know what type of Linksys router. I think it works on every single type of Linksys router. I don't honestly know. Um, as you can see, I have my own server. Right here is the list of the stuff I have in it. Yes, it, it is a lot of items. Uh, but yours shouldn't look as bad. Um, this is what the default looks like. It might look like a lot, but the updates are all the all five updates are pointless. A lot of it are, are kind of pointless. So basically, what you guys need to do is you need to get to go to uh, HMod forms. Uh, HMod, of course, right there. Um, HMod, this is the form. You can look it up on. I think they might have it up on King Agnostic. I don't know, but I know they have it up on Google. Uh, what you need to do is type in just Minecraft HMod. Uh, and it should pop up right away. Uh, what you need to do is hit unofficial mods, unofficial builds, and what, right after that you need to hit unofficial build by Liquidox, not by these guys. These guys are just little little um, fishy. I, I don't I don't really like them. Uh, but unofficial H mod 134, and basically go into that, and it gives you this guy with the little smiley face. What you need to do after that is see where it says compiled Minecraft 134. Uh, add link to source, all that stiff. Uh, what you need to do is you need to hit that right there. Hit that link right next to it. The other thing is just a plugin that you can download, and it's up to you. What you need to do is hit the mod, each mod releases. When you're done with hitting the H mod releases, the, there's a download H mod. Uh, you can download and then it says plug in, contact me, hit the download HMOD and then should lead you to the HMOD forum which gives you a pre-compiled a sources just in case if you have a store the sources thing ah, hold on for a second my contacts are out so my eye hurts like a B uh, so yeah you hit the pre-compiled and it already has it for you right there. It says mod zip download file. Now I'm not going to download it, but it just to show you that it works. Download HMod, WinRAR zip, archive, uh, and basically it's download. Uh, it's by Meagling, so you know it's pretty pretty legit. Uh, and the uh, file history, or there's 39 downloaded already today. Um, uploaded, blah, blah, blah. That's basically what's left. And uh, we don't really need that anymore. Uh, and, that, and, that. Uh, and then basically, you should get this. Well, you'll get a you'll get a screen of uh, if you if you really know WinRAR, uh, you'll get a screen kind of like this, but with different stuff in it. And what you need to do is you need to hit extract all. But first, you need to make a folder on your desktop before you do that. So right here is what you need. You need that, you need a little box thing, you need to extract it into the folder. Take the folder, open it up, and you shouldn't see a lot of stuff. You see a few things. What you need to do is hit uh, server no GUI or server no GUI 64, depending on the which bit you have. Uh, I honestly don't know how to look up which bit you have ex uh, specifically, so you're going to have to look that up on another YouTube video. I might post one, I don't know. Alright, so I'm gonna hit. I already hit that, and you hit it. You let it load completely. Do not, do not let it load halfway, like four percent. Now I'm gonna hit this X, but do not hit that X. You want to type stop. Just stop. Now mine won't stop because I'm halfway through. But once it's done loading, which it's taking forever for me. See how it's like preparing, preparing, and it just spawns everything. gonna check my okay and then it said lose plug load plugins it might say uh, stuff up here on like uh, I don't even know but uh, I said stop during the thing which it's responding to that by saying press any key to continue it will not say that for you uh, press a key and it should have a lot more folders such as these what you need to do right away. Now listen, this is for everybody that's complained about not being able to have your 
not being able to make yourself admin this is what you need to do put your username exactly how you have it in the cracked version put your username and then put colon and then put admins now my server user group name thing whatever is different than what this is now um yeah basically that's what you need to do i'm gonna just click out that that's for you, all you people that complain about oh i don't know how to do it i don't know how to do it i don't know how to do it uh when you're done with that you need to go into server where it's a server just server and it has a little if it says opened up and no you want to open it up in notepad now uh what you guys need to do is you can change this to your liking just briefly look over it you should know it goes which but you need to change your on uh, online mode to false and you need to hit file and then save uh, that just make sure and then another thing is you need your server IP to get your server IP you need to go to your start menu hit run hit and then type in CMD and then whenever you type in CMD it should come up with another black little box like this and type in IP config that will bring up a load menu now my load menu is like this uh, I'm not going to show you all of it but like right here is my IP address now that's basically all you yeah if you guys saw my IP address I really don't care they will come rape me like, I don't really care uh, <laughs> uh, basically this is where you add your plugins you'll see the stuff you know, on each mod on how to do that if you want it to spawn monsters uh, change it keep it to true false uh, if you want people to be able to kill each other change PvP to true or false uh, de depending server spawn protection I would say three or two or four yeah up to you I really don't care uh, just basically play around with these do not change the data source uh, do not change the whitelist text do not change the home location text stuff like that if you don't know what it is then don't change it <laughs> basically it's that's the easiest thing I'm not going to say mine because it's not really that important because this is just a mock uh, kits if you want people to be able to spawn kits uh, you have to put it up protect uh, like perfectly do all that stuff groups now look at this group file look at all the stuff it has in it you has default mod VIP admin those are the four main topics you have to have default VIP mods and admins if you don't then your server will go completely wrong now look at this look at this little thing compared to let's see if I have mine still I do. groups compared to my groups now as you can see I have more more uh, names in them obviously uh, I have training group uh, jail default mods super mods admins owner they only have that those it's it's totally different and then you can add little text owner and admin super mod next to the color I wouldn't really mess with the colors very much considering they're not really that important so what I'm gonna do is close this out close this out and then right here you're back to the server again now it should be completely set up now if you will have the problem most likely 99.9% .9 sure you will have the problem of people not being able to log into your server what you need to do is you need to go to this is for uh, what's it called only it's for Linksys that's what it's called Linksys only that's uh, my name in so I'll put that in You guys can message me, I don't really care. Uh, don't even try to guess my password, it's all numbers randomly generated uh, by. I just took it off my other one thing. Uh, and it should come up like this. You need to go to applications and gaming, and Minecraft should be an applic. Uh, the application, just name it Minecraft. Uh, the start port is 25565, and the endpoint is 25565 protocol should be both IP address and right there again is my IP address don't come rape me uh, and you need to enable it I'm not going to change anything because if I do then my server will shut off and I all my people will get mad um, basically this is the easiest way of doing it and then just hit save settings uh, enable and then just do your IP address the last two four three digits depending on your router if you're on that desktop I don't, honestly don't know how to do it you're gonna have to figure it out yourself look it up on YouTube you know there's YouTube videos out there 
uh, basically that's how you guys do it if I talk too quick quick I'm sorry I'm trying to at least get this under uh, I don't even know how long but uh, I'm sorry for the bad quality and I hope to satisfy you guys alright thanks for watching and this is you forgot me going out